Hello, I'm Michael Pierce and this is The Human Condition. Today we have a product evaluation that I've been asked to evaluate. It's called Life Tones. It's an enzyme product that's sold on major markets. It's um, sold in major stores, it's sold on Amazon, and it's a product that is a digestive enzyme product. Natural supplements that are plant-based can be very useful for people, although I think that people need to look at carnivore diets and diets that are lower in plant products. I tend to use plant products for convenience, and I know my patients do too, because in this world it's very difficult to go completely carnivore and go clean carnivore. It is very useful to go carnivore fully, and, and there are some arguments that say even not clean carnivore would be healthier than eating a lot of plant foods and, and being, being high carb. And I think that makes sense. If I was in an environment like a prison or a environment where I couldn't really pick all my foods and I didn't have access to organic food and I only had access to either, you know, non-organic GMO vegetables versus meat, I'd probably pick the meat because, and fats because in that environment that's imperfect, I want to be as low carb as possible to support my chemistry. So I do think this is a good product. I took it myself. It's made of barley, spirulina, papain, fenugreek, bromelain, and peppermint. And so it's designed to help be a digestive aid as well as digestive enzyme, as well as an anti-gas and anti-indigestion type of supplement. And it does work. It's very useful for when a person goes out and has too many plant foods and too many processed foods, and it works very quickly, and it's very soothing. I, I would take two or three at a time, uh, more than once a day, and it really does work to help with controlling those symptoms. Now, that's a symptomatic control. That's not a lifestyle choice. And I think that if you're really trying to get well on a lifestyle foundation where you're trying to build back health, then you, you may want to use this as a tool, but graduate toward a more more ketogenic, more clean carnivore diet, and you may end up leaving products like this behind. But on the way, this is a fantastic product for that. I think it's a really great product for that. Now, if I always have to talk about the general patient versus the specific, rare, more injured patient, or more susceptible patient, or more fragile patient. And that is that my population is people that have exceptionally strange and rare problems. They range from a few percentage to, you know, 20% of the population. So if you have an autoimmune disease, if you have an incredible sensitivity, if you have very, very bad SIBO, you might not do perfectly well on this product, but most people will do fine on something like this. And the reason is, is because there are plant components in this which have lectins in them, but that's not the, the main difficulty. It would be the excipients. Now, the excipients in there are fine, and I took them. They're not a problem for me, but there would be rare people that would have difficulties with them. And let me describe those. There are a couple of things that are in this, in this product that are the excipients or the, the, the fillers and the non-active ingredients. And, and they're perfectly fine products called cellulose, magnesium stearate, and hydromellose or, or hydroxymethylcellulose. And these are things that I take and I don't have a problem with and most of my patients don't have a problem with. In the case of a patient that's autoimmune or has very strange SNPs or has a, a family history of autoimmunity or that has a very bad SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or other problems of, of brain difficulty, seizure disorders, they may want to avoid some of those excipients. And let me just tell you why. Magnesium stearate is a, is a fat that occurs way more in, in animal and, and plant products than in this product. So you're, you're going to get more of it, magnesium stearate, from a regular diet. Because stearic acid is a, is a fat molecule that's used as a, a lubricant in baking. It's a natural product that helps lower LDL cholesterol and, and, and do all kinds of things in natural foods. And when it's made into a product, it's usually just designed to help as a flow agent so that the, the powder can flow through the machines when they're making the pills. And magnesium stearate doesn't bother people in most cases. There are rare, rare, rare people that would react to a magnesium stearate. They have skin reactions and immune reactions. So just know that that, that does happen. But again, it's not a problem for most people. It's just those particular outliers. Cellulose is a filler that's used in products. And we have to use fillers in products because our FDA requires that there are only certain sizes of pills, of capsules that can be used. And if you have a certain amount of ingredient that you want to put in a, in a product, you have to fill the capsule. You can't halfway fill it. You have to fill it. 
So that means that when a, a company chooses a size of a, a bore and a, and a height and depth and, and width and circumference of, of these and, and a, a radius or diameter of these, these capsules, they have to fill it. So they might find that between one size and another is, is how much they want to, to put the ingredient in, and there's some little airspace left over. So they've got to fill that airspace with volume, and that's usually some kind of filler. And so the, the filler of cellulase is usually made from some kind of plant material. It's usually made from trees. It's made from wood material. It's, it's made from fibers that are uh, undigestible fibers that don't hurt humans generally. And they're made from pine and fir and spruce. And uh, they're made from the, the, the rough fibers of other farm materials like, like corn and wheat husks. And there's other vegetable husks. And, and they're all mixed up together and, and they're bought industrially. So if you have an autoimmune problem where you might react to some of those plant materials, you might have to look out for cellulase, but cellulose. But most people wouldn't have to work out for it. There is vegetable cellulose, and it's mostly, like I said, wood fibers, and uh, they go right through you. Hydromellose or hydroxymethyl cellulose is another product also from pine, fir, spruce. It can come from corn, it can come from wheat. And these are, these are again, fibers that are used as fillers in, in the product. So I don't want to scare you because uh, everybody uses them. You're not going to find a product that doesn't use those things. So if you, if you want the convenience of taking a pill, which I do, then you're going to have to deal with that. But if you're a really, a really fragile, sensitive patient, you probably won't be able to take hardly anybody's pills. You'll have to make your own from raw materials and, and spend a lot of time buying raw materials and taking powders and, and making your own material and not using products that have fillers as well as the, the casing, which is also vegetable cellulose um, casing, which is those veggie caps. The casing of a, of a pill, a capsule, can be animal-based or, or vegetable-based. So again, this is a, a beautiful combination product. It works fast, it worked well for me. Me and my friends took it because I was given some samples, and I do like it. It's a very convenient product. It's, um, it's, it's priced well for the industry. If you're tight on money, you don't have to spend all that money on, on this type of thing. But I find it very useful for travel, for convenience, for eating out, and when you have an unexpected digestive disturbance. The rare people that have an autoimmune problem would have to look at the excipient ingredients. But it's, it's a, one of the reasons I like the product is because there's so few things in it. It's just these uh, six ingredients and then three inactive ingredients or, or non-active ingredients. And so I like that because there's fewer things in it. So many products are full of so many fillers and so many ingredients that you can't figure out what they are and if they work. And I like this combination of fenugreek and peppermint for gas, barley, spirulina, papain, and bromelain that help with other digestive complaints and, and act as enzymes and digestive aids, and they help reduce indigestion. So there, there's the product, Life Tones. Its website is toneshealth.com, and please let me know what you think of it.